Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic week. And I know a lot of people think that it's perfect to pay a lot of things in advance. So I bought my specialty dining in advance, I bought my drink package in advance, I prepaid my gratuities in advance, I have all these things paid in advance, I'm all set to go on my cruise. And you know what? The cruise lines love it when you do this because there's something that happens in the back of everyone's mind that actually makes the cruise line a lot more money. And I'm going to tell you what it is right after this. I know, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Don, what are you talking about? If I prepay everything in advance and sometimes I'm getting cheaper prices, like I can buy the drink package at 10% less than I can if I'm on board, or you know, prepay my gratuities ahead of time, I can get special offers on the dining ahead of time, my spa services, sometimes I can get 20% off if I book ahead of time. So these are great options. Yeah, that's not what I'm saying. Ah, uh, those are great. When you can save money on things that you're gonna use, that's great. Here's something that happens though, and think about it from a perspective of when you're on your own holidays. You're on holidays, and every time you go to pay something, you have to pay for it at that location. In your head, you're saying, I just spent $100, I just spent $20, I just spent $50, I'm up to $170, I don't need to buy one of those. But, if you've already prepaid for everything, oh, this, is, this didn't cost me anything, this didn't cost me anything, this didn't cost me anything, hey, look at that, I like that. Oh, it's only $50, I'll buy it for $50. Well, you might not have bought that had you spent the $170 before that. So the cruise line actually thinks this way as well. That's why they want to offer you as many things beforehand before you get on the cruise. And Royal Caribbean is a perfect example of this. This is one of their ideas for marketing because they say that for every dollar a person spends ahead of time, they will actually still spend 50% more than they intended on the ship because they feel like they've already paid for their vacation and they're not spending any money on their vacation. They're not spending money on food, they're not spending money on drinks, they're not spending money on the shore excursions, they've already been paid for. Yeah, everything's covered, so what does it matter if I spend another four, five, six, seven hundred dollars on the cruise? But if you're the, one of those people who are trying to budget your cruise, and say, okay, this cruise, I want to do this cruise for only $3,000. Well, when you're, if you don't prepay everything and you're spending money as you go, you add up to that $3,000 and as you get closer to that money, you can start saying, you know what, I don't need the shot glass with uh, you know, Royal Caribbean written on it. Or you know what, today I'm gonna to eat in the main dining lounge, I'm not gonna to go to the specialty restaurant tonight. All these things happen subconsciously in your mind when you prepay everything you think you've paid ahead of time. So if you are aware of that when you're cruising, you can counteract that effect. So just keep in mind how much you prepaid everything before you went. So if you've already paid $3,000 and you don't want to spend more than $3,000, keep that in mind when you're actually on the cruise. Otherwise, that $3,000 cruise could end up costing you four dollars to $5,000 because you think you've already paid for it. It's a trick they use and they use it quite effectively. And that's how cruise lines make a lot more money by letting you prepay everything. I hope you like this tip. I hope you keep it in mind next time you cruise. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.